So, Valerie, it's, uh, first of all, uh, you're from Car Troller, and uh, I had a phone call from one of your colleagues uh, about three months ago, and they said that they were working on a lot of new stuff at Car Troller, and could they sponsor our lines then? And this is the first time we've ever done that. No one's ever asked before uh, to come and sponsor this particular event, and it was all to do with that this is an innovative pitching competition, uh, and what's new, and all those new products. So perhaps you might want to tell us a little bit about uh, what you do at uh, Car Troller, and maybe just give us a little bit of a hint about what innovation that you do at Car Troller. Great, yeah. So, well, first of all, we're really delighted and honoured to be uh, sponsoring the Lion's Den today, and particularly to see such great four female lionesses and uh, four very impressive uh, gentlemen pitchers there, because that's not easy uh, to pitch a product like that in front of such a big audience. So, um, Car Trawler is all about innovation. For those of you who don't know us, um, many of you do. We work with Ryanair, Vwelling, uh, KLM, Pegasus and many other airlines here today and, and OTA. So we're a fully end-to-end -end solution providing car rental and airport transfers to um, online travel businesses as well as offline uh, solutions as well. So technology is key for us as well because it's um, and, and innovation and staying one or two steps ahead of the competition, always offering something new to the customer. And uh, I think as we saw today, there's a huge amount of detail to be explained in any of these businesses and in, in terms of the, the top level and granular detail. We invest hugely in innovation um, in car trawler dedicated incubation team. Working Could you over tell the tell us last a little bit more about that incubation yeah. team? How many people have you got uh, so working there? There are about 20 people working dedicated on new product innovations uh, for Car Trawler um, to keep, again, to look at new products, new ways of selling them, new touch points, to put the right kind of uh, car rental or airport transfer in front of the right customer at the right point of their customer journey at the right price. So everything we do is personalized per partner, per touch point, per customer. So using all that data that we've been talking about over the last half an hour or so in a really inf intelligent way to make sure that it's a seamless decision then for the customer to add brand transportation. So are you behind uh, what uh, people were talking about earlier on in my Ryanair in terms of popping up Absolutely. the car hire yes. like bits on so the map? So how, how did that come about? Well, I mean, we've been seeing for a long time now the customer migrating more and more to mobile. So as we all know in the room, I'm sure it's, it's kind of a challenge as to how to merchandise to the, on, to the mobile and app customer. And so we have various web solutions and app solutions, SDKs for car, for on-demand taxis, for uh, pre-bookable taxis, but we're also growing out our content now to activities and other um, theater tickets and, and other kinds of products, parking, lounges, and so on. So that's the uh, kind of a next step for us, which so is quite exciting. So you would have been very interested in some of the people who were pitching yeah, today. Yeah, I was listening very so closely, uh, yeah. Yeah, because they've I think probably got some of the technology that uh, would be of interest to you. Definitely, absolutely. And I mean, the whole conference has been great in terms of some really interesting ideas, right? Keep saying nice things like that. Yeah, I like that. Well, it's not hard, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it, it's always great to come out of the office and kind of get your 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 thinking cap on and really learn from from people who are at the cutting edge of the business. So, I think that you know, I, I'm not going to pick. On, I'm going to pick on you, Anne, from Essentialist. Uh, I thought that was a, a very interesting bit about you know potentially how they can actually push. Uh, high uh, value Absolutely. customers to go and buy a first class and or that's business class seat. Uh, that's um, something that we've explored as well. Um, and I, I don't want to make this a sales pitch because there's nothing more boring, but we found as well that instead of always looking to get further access to people who, for example, haven't booked a car rental before, we said, why don't we retarget the high, the kind of high repeat customers for us and kind of market to them more effectively? And we've seen uh, really good revenues coming in from that kind of ancillary CRM um, marketing to them through new CRM strategies, particularly uh, Ryanair, as we know, are very good at kind of taking on uh, you know, new ways to sell to the customer. You could say it's spamming the customer, but I don't think they believe in the word spamming. Um, you, you could never contact a customer enough, as we were talking earlier um, with Vidaro, and uh, you know, you c they, they send so many emails, but actually all of those emails generate more bookings even months down the line. Bookings are still coming in for car rental sales that we did six months ago. So um, CRM is, is crucial now. The, the fascinating thing, uh, and I do fly in Ryanair, not, and I use the, you know, the booking 
mining tool. Uh, they, they don't, in the app, offer me uh, um, car hire any longer. I, to, uh, I do wish you could get in an easy jet because uh, I keep coming back from Glasgow to, uh, from Paris back to Glasgow and they keep trying to sell me hotels and car hire <laughs> in my home city and uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So it's not. So, so what's, what's kind of, uh, you know, you talked about those 20 people uh, in uh, that lab that you've got working. Is there, is there anything you can share with us about some of the innovations that are coming down the line? I mean, you talked about airport transfer. And, yeah, uh, so that's uh, um, a key product of, or, of ours and co core product over the last two and a half years, been working on that and extending it, both the kinds of content and um, the locations. But um, this year, we're very focused on um, mobile. Um, but also on a new market marketplace product, which kind of briefly referenced there includes things like uh, activities, lounges, parking, all these other ancillary products. And um, I suppose increasingly airlines, airports, online travel agents, well, um, you know, need to be offering these wide services, not just their one original core product. And so we want to make that as quick and easy for them to integrate, and uh, no matter what what way they want it, be XML or white label solution or or our, our award-winning smart block technology, which um, is in-path cross-selling, which is incredibly effective and easy for the partner to integrate, not like a, a full XML integration. I do love the, the, the whole in-path that, uh, you know, many years ago when I worked at British Airways, we started selling travel insurance uh, long before in-path became <laughs> quite a trendy uh, word. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that tool works? Because that's, that's kind of interesting, because I mean, one of the challenges most of the airline people face is, you know, this is a great idea, but how do I plug it all in? It, uh, you Absolutely. Know, uh, and you don't want to throw the customer off their core purchase, which is the flight or the package, um, you know, the holiday package. That's obviously, don't want to lose them along the booking way. So um, everything we do is to kind of use all of that data rich insight to personalize the product pricing. So it makes it just a one simple click. They don't have to link off anywhere else. They get all of their content there. And it's just a, a one click button for them to add to their basket then um, and transact. So they make one payment for the full package, but in fact, Car Trawler will control the UI and the content on that particular uh, technology part. Which I'm sure for most of the airlines, that, that kind of one-stop shop approach is uh, probably it. Yeah. Uh, you know, really important for them.